Amongst the cheering and applause of the Augusta Civic Center in Section 38 was Jennifer Hicks and her grandmother, Josephine McAlary, who is 95 years young. I moved to Maine and I turned 21 in time to vote the next November. I turned in August and I voted in November. Greatest day of my life. <laughs> Josephine grew up in New Orleans but has called Maine home since 1936, spending most of her time in Bangor. When asked if she thought she would ever see what happened on this stage, a woman sworn into this office, she had this to say. No, no, no. Before the inauguration, we caught up with Senate President Troy Jackson, who administered the oath of office. He says the key in 2019 is to reach across the aisle. That's what we need to do to move the state forward, uh, not get you know in our silos and, uh, and not listen to each other. And I, and I really believe... Uh, this administration is going to do that. I certainly know the legislature is going to. Republican Representative Matthew Pouliot says he's interested in working with Governor Mills, but saw some dollar signs during her speech this evening. I do have some concerns about how we're going to pay for some of her initiatives, but I'm optimistic that we'll find a way to, to make it happen. Back to Janet and Josephine, two generations taking in a moment in history of Maine's first female governor. I'm sure everybody finds her amenable to to trying to do something about whatever is bothering her. Not that she may cure it, but she'll endeavor. And I think that's wonderful.